Today we are throwing ourselves a princess party. Hello everybody, Nikki Mara here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a fabulous week and are ready for yet another fun ranking video. Now, previously on my YouTube channel, you guys have absolutely loved my Disney princess videos. The two of which that I've done so far are ranking the Disney princesses, and then the second one I did was ranking the fashion of the Disney princesses. And I am so unbelievably glad that you guys have loved those two videos. And so today I am here to provide you with the third installment of our princess video series as today we are going to be going through and ranking the voices of the iconic Disney princess lineup. Now I'm going to say right off the bat that in the spirit of the Disney princesses, we are not going to be comparing these women to one another or speaking badly about them in any way in comparison to another. I am proudly using my channel to lift all of these women up and to thank them and to give them the space and the recognition that they so deserve for helping bring to life some of our favorite Disney characters of all time. Each of these women are so unbelievably strong and brave and beautiful, and I am so grateful for all of the work that they have done over the years. And so when I say ranking Disney princess voices, please know that I do not mean to compare them in any way, shape, or form. So what I will actually be ranking today is more so the magical energy that the voice gives me when I listen to the song or hear them speak their dialogue. This is just a personal list, and what makes the Disney princess brand so wonderful is that each one of us gravitates towards a different princess. Whether it be for her fashion, for her beautiful music, or just her wonderful spirit going about life, these characters are so influential into pop culture and I cannot wait to talk about all of the incredible women behind them. And I truly mean it in my heart of hearts when I say even the ladies that rank at the very bottom of today's list I look up to and admire so much. To say I look up to every single person on this list is an absolute understatement, seeing as every single one of them has achieved a career goal that I can only dream of achieving one day. Yes, ever since I was little, I have always dreamed of one day voicing a Disney character for an animated movie. I just know how much these voices have influenced me and changed my life for the better, and I can only hope that one day my gifts will do the same for someone else. So like when people ask me, what celebrity would you geek out to see most of the time, my answer is a voice of a Disney princess, and you'll be able to guess which one by the end of this video. <laughs> and I cannot wait to hear all of the positivity that you guys are going to give these incredible women down in the comment section. So make sure to shout out your favorite Disney princess voice and give her a beautiful compliment. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki Mara, and I am a Disney content creator, and I make magical content here on YouTube with long form videos releasing every Friday at 5 p.m. And I also create content over on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. And if you'd like to find me on any of those platforms, my handle is at Nikki Mara with two Y's and two R's. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe down below so that way you never miss out on future magic from me. Because in addition to Disney, I am a big fan of Halloween, so we have a lot coming up in the next few months. Now, as always on my YouTube channel, I do have some brief disclaimers and conditions for the list today, which I highly recommend watching today because there will be some Disney princess voices that you might not see on this list today, and you might wonder why. So while I do recommend watching the conditions for today's list, if you do want to jump just right into the ranking, then you can head right to this timestamp. Starting off with our disclaimers for today, I am not associated with the Walt Disney Company and therefore I don't speak for the brand or the company. All the opinions in this video are just my own. And secondly, I welcome any and all opinions surrounding these iconic Disney characters and Disney movies down in my comment section. So make sure to leave all of your thoughts down below. I cannot wait to find out which Disney princess voice brings the most magic to your life. And next we are moving on to the conditions for today's list. The Disney princess voices that we will be ranking today must be the voice of an animated Disney princess in the official Disney princess lineup or an official Frozen queen. The voice actresses we'll be including today can be the original voice actresses for each princess or queen. They can be the voice of the princess in a direct sequel, whether that be a theatrical release or a direct-to-DVD sequel, of which I also have a full ranking list of those sequels, which I will leave up above. So yes, we're including original voices, sequel voices, and also the voices of the Disney princesses in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ralph Breaks the Internet is its own original story. However, Ralph and Vanellope visit different areas of the internet, and one of them happens to be a site called Oh My Disney, which includes a scene with all of the official Disney princesses and frozen queens. And for one reason or another, which we will discuss as we go through the list, some of the original voice actresses for the princesses were not able to reprise their roles for Ralph Breaks the Internet. And so since Ralph Breaks the Internet was a theatrical 
release of a Disney movie, which included the princesses, we are going to be including those voice actresses on this list as well. Now, Disney princess voices that you will not find on today's list include princesses from the live-action remakes of Disney movies, the live-action references, who are the performers that were hired by Disney to perform the role in front of the animators to give them something easier to animate based off of, and we will also not be including any Broadway Disney princesses. I am happy to do videos on all of those topics in the future, but today is specifically for our animated princesses. And if my calculations are correct, I believe that leaves us with 23 Disney princess voices that we need to talk about today. And so with all of those disclaimers and conditions out of the way, I believe it is time to start talking about some of our favorite and most iconic Disney princess voices. Oh yes, and really quick, I do have some brief talking points that I want to talk about and touch on with each individual voice actress, so I'm just going to go through those really quick with you first. The first talking point we're going to touch on is which Disney princess did this voice actress lend her voice to? The second point is did they do the singing, the speaking, or both for the character? The third touching point is which projects can you hear them in, meaning the original, the sequels, or Ralph Breaks the Internet? Next we're going to briefly touch on each voice actress's career outside of the Walt Disney Company. And for the fifth and final talking point we are going to be touching on their legacy as a Disney princess. And that leaves me with a lot to talk about for 23 of Disney's most iconic princess voices. So without further ado, grab yourself a snack and a drink, sit back, relax, and let's rank some Disney princess voices. We are starting off today's list at number 23, who is Pamela Ribbon. Now Pamela lent her beautiful voice to Princess Snow White. Although she has done very few lines for this princess, she has both spoken and given a few singing notes to the princess. And you can hear all of the dialogue that she helped out Snow White with in the movie Ralph Breaks the Internet. For her career, Pamela is an actress, screenwriter, a TV writer, a comic book writer, an author, and a best-selling novelist. And funnily enough, she actually wrote Ralph Breaks the Internet for the Walt Disney Company. And since she was already involved with the project, she was asked to temporarily take over the role of Snow White for this movie for actress Catherine Von Till, who was the full-time Snow White voice actress for appearances in the park and other media. And Pamela was also a consultant on the Disney Nature Bears documentary. Pamela has done a lot of incredible work both with Disney and without Disney, and I am extremely grateful for her for helping to bring Snow White to life so many years after the original premiere of her animated movie. But next we move on up to number 22 on my list, who is Kate Higgins. Kate Higgins lent her beautiful voice to Princess Aurora. The reason she lands on today's list is because of the speaking lines that she has done for the princess, which can be found in the film Ralph Breaks the Internet. Kate Higgins has done countless voice acting gigs, even to the point where I can guess that you have probably seen or heard some of her work. She has appeared in the Super Mario video game series, as well as Sailor Moon and SpongeBob SquarePants, as well as voicing Briar Beauty, the Sleeping Beauty character, in the Monster High series. Not too far off for our Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> for Disney, she is the current full-time actress for Aurora, and she has also done Angel and Jessica in the Stitch series, and also in certain projects she voices the character Joy from Inside Out. She has also done wonderful work in voiceover promos for Disney Channel, and also provides and background vocals in the Legacy Collection, which were the albums for Walt Disney Records. Kate Higgins' career is undoubtedly full, and she is so incredibly talented, and we are very lucky to have her as our very own Princess Aurora. But next we move on up to number 21 on my list, who is Tammy Tapan Damiano. Now Tammy lent her beautiful vocal cords to the character of Cinderella. And for the work that we're recognizing her for for this list, we are looking at her beautiful singing voice, of which you can hear in the Cinderella sequel, Cinderella 3 A Twist in Time. Now Tammy is primarily an actress in live action films, as in you actually see her on screen as different characters. However, for the Disney company, she has not only provided her gorgeous voice to Cinderella in Cinderella 3 A Twist in Time, but you can also hear her voice in the animated feature Home on the Range. Tammy truly did some beautiful work in Cinderella 3 A Twist in Time, which is a gorgeous film and I highly recommend to anybody that wants to expand their knowledge on the Cinderella story, as it happens to rank as one of my favorite Disney sequels of all time. Thank you so much to Tammy for all of her incredible work, and next we are moving on up to number 20 on my list, 
who is Jennifer Hale. Now, Jennifer Hale, much like Tammy, has also lent her beautiful voice to the character of Cinderella. Now, Jennifer, being so incredibly talented, has sung and spoke for this character. You can hear her as the speaking and singing voice of Cinderella in the sequel Cinderella 2, Dreams Come True. And you can also hear her as the speaking voice of Cinderella in Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time, as well as Ralph Breaks the Internet. Jennifer Hale is a well-known voice actress for video games, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Legend of Korra, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. And she is currently the full-time voice actress for Cinderella for the Walt Disney Company, but interestingly enough, she has also voiced Princess Aurora in a few smaller productions for the company. Multifaceted and extremely gifted, we thank Jennifer Hale for all she has done for Princess Cinderella. But with that, we're gonna move on up to number 19 on my list. Now, I actually debated on whether or not I wanted to put this voice on the list today, but you know what? I figure there's room for everybody, so why not? At number 19 is Julie Fullis. Now, Julie Fullis sings the songs Touch the Sky and Into the Open Air in the movie Brave. And it's actually heavily debated amongst the Disney community whether or not this is actually meant to be Merida's voice, as it's supposed to be her internal thoughts, but is this her true singing voice? And I figure for today's list, why not? If it's meant to be her internal thoughts, who's to say that's not what she sounds like if she were to try to sing? Now, with all of that being said, Julie Fullis lent her voice to Merida as her internal thoughts, <laughs> and we can hear her beautiful singing voice in the original Disney Pixar movie, Brave. Now, Julie Fullis is a Scottish folk singer and also a multi-instrumentalist. This woman is so talented, and in her work, she primarily sings in Scottish Gaelic. She is primarily a musician and hasn't really done anything with the Disney company besides these two songs in Brave. However, her voice is just beautiful and it was so fun getting to look into her other work and research her music for this video and I highly recommend checking out a lot of her other music. She is so talented and I'm so grateful we got her beautiful voice for the Disney Pixar movie Brave. But next we're moving on up to number 18 on my list, who is a Disney princess voice that I have actually seen in person. At number 18 is Liz Calloway. Now Liz Calloway lent her beautiful voice to Princess Jasmine. And while she auditioned for Princess Jasmine in the original animated movie and didn't get it, she did end up landing the singing voice of Princess Jasmine in these sequels, Aladdin the Return of Jafar and Aladdin the King of Thieves. So you can hear Liz's beautiful singing voice in both of the Aladdin sequels. Liz Calloway is a singer and actress primarily for the stage and for voice acting. She has played the roles of Grizabella in the Broadway musical Cats, as well as originating the role of Ellen in the musical Miss Saigon. However, most of you might know her as the original singing voice for Anastasia in the Don Bluth film, which although was not a Disney movie, it has since been acquired by the Disney company, so you might say that Liz Calloway is a Disney princess in more than one way. In addition to Anastasia, you might also recognize her as Odette in The Swan Princess, and she also plays Princess Kiara in The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. I absolutely love Liz Calloway's voice. I was so lucky to get to see her in person singing Journey to the Past, as when I was in college, she stopped by my arts department to do a really fun masterclass with all of us, so this was such a cool experience to get to see her in person. But with that, we're gonna move on up to number 17 on my list, who is Linda Larkin. Linda Larkin has such an incredibly unique voice, and I absolutely love getting to listen to her dialogue. Now, Linda Larkin lent her very unique voice to Princess Jasmine, and you can hear her as the speaking voice of Princess Jasmine in every iteration so far, and that would include the original film Aladdin, both of the sequels, Aladdin Return of Jafar and Aladdin King of Thieves, and she also reprised the role in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, Linda Larkin is an actress outside of the Disney company. She's done a few feature films, but she is primarily and best well known for sticking by the Disney company and helping to bring Princess Jasmine to life year after year, which is why she was eventually awarded the Disney Legend Award. Linda Larkin is such an icon, and I love getting to hear her performance of Princess Jasmine every single time Jasmine is on screen in a featured film. But with that, we move on up to number 16 on my list, who is Mandy Moore. Now, Mandy Moore is such a gifted actress. I love the energy that she has in her vocal performances. Mandy Moore lent her beautiful voice to Princess Rapunzel. She was both the speaking and singing voice for the character, and she not only voiced Rapunzel in the original Tangled film, but also in the Tangled series and in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Mandy Moore is an American singer, songwriter, and actress, and she is very well known for many of her pop albums from the 1990s and the 2000s. 
2000s. She has done so many wonderful film roles, but in all honesty, being a massive Disney fan, I know and love her so well for her role as Rapunzel. I love how much youth and spirit she brings to the character. She really gives the energy of naivete at the beginning, but also grows into her character's confidence as the movie's story goes on. I just love Mandy Moore, and it is even really fun getting to see her travel to Disneyland on her social medias with her family every once in a while. But with that, we're going to move on up to number 15 on today's list, who is Kelly Marie Tran. Now, Kelly Marie Tran lent her gorgeous voice to Princess Raya, who is the newest Disney princess. Kelly lent her voice to Raya for all of the speaking roles, and seeing as the film Raya and the Last Dragon debuted after the film Ralph Breaks the Internet and Princess Raya was not yet officially named Disney princess, Kelly Marie Tran does not appear in Ralph Breaks the Internet. But if Ralph Breaks the Internet had come out after Raya, she definitely would have been in the film. Besides voicing this iconic dragon-obsessed princess, Kelly Marie Tran is also very well known for her role as Rose Tico in the Star Wars films, The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. I just love how much depth and maturity that Kelly brings to the role of Raya, seeing as Raya really appears as a strong, confident, responsible princess. And I very much admire her for recording this role from the comfort of her own home during the pandemic. Yes, Kelly Marie Tran recorded all of her dialogue in a homemade studio in her very own home, and the film was compiled together during the pandemic, which is just even cooler because we were still able to get a truly beautiful performance from her. God, I just love her and I love this performance and I only hope we get to see even more of Princess Raya in the future. But with that, we're gonna move on up to number 14 on my list, who is Kelly MacDonald. Now, being a Scottish actress, Kelly MacDonald you might recognize as the speaking voice for Princess Merida. She lent her beautiful speaking voice not only to Princess Merida in the original Disney Pixar film, but also to her in Ralph Breaks the Internet. She is known for many, many roles in film and television, including roles in the movies Nanny McPhee and Harry Potter and The Deathly Hallows Part Two. And she has received many awards over the year, including, but not limited to, a BAFTA Award, a Primetime Emmy Award, and four Screen Actors Guild Awards. Kelly MacDonald is so incredibly talented, and I love the free spirit energy that she brings to the role of Princess Merida. I just love how strong Merida's voice is in this movie, and she is determined to be heard by a society that doesn't normally listen to girls her age. When so many others in her movie have a plan set for her, she breaks the rules and goes out and does what she knows is right for her. And all of that is brought to us iconically by Kelly MacDonald, and I just love the fun little joke that is poked at Merida about being from the other studio and Ralph breaks the internet. But with that, we're gonna move on up to number 13 on my list, who is Ming-Na Wen. Now, Ming-Na Wen's strong and confident voice was lent to Princess Mulan, one of the only members of the Disney princess brand to not necessarily be a princess, either by marriage or by birth. Now, Ming-Na was the original speaking voice for Mulan, and you can hear her voice in not only the original Mulan movie, but also the sequel, Mulan 2, as well as Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, Ming-Na Wen is an American actress and model. She is best known for her role as Melinda May and the Cavalry in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., as well as the character of Fennec in the Star Wars TV series, The Mandalorian. I love how much Ming-Na immerses herself in the Disney company and not only sticks to just animation, but also branches off to other acquired companies to perform more work for the company. Accomplishing all of that while also bringing life to Princess Mulan since her original conception. Next, we're moving on up to number 12 on my list, who is Irene Bedard. Now, Irene's beautiful, confident, and wise speaking voice was lent to Princess Pocahontas. And while she was the original speaking voice for the Native American princess, you can also hear her voice in the sequel, Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, as well as in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Irene is an indigenous American actress who is incredibly well known for playing leading Native American roles in a variety of films over the years. She's probably best known for her role as Susie Song in the 1998 film Smoke Signals, as well as playing the character Yagoda in the Netflix series Avatar and the Last Airbender. Much like Ming-Na for Mulan, I love how much Irene has returned to breathe life into the character of Pocahontas. And although Pocahontas' story is not necessarily historically or culturally accurate, Irene's presence in the cast of this film definitely brings a level of authenticity to the character. 
and her delivery of many of Pocahontas's lines just show how strong and wise the character is beyond her years. But next we're moving on up to number 11 on my list, who is Paige O'Hara. Now the beautiful voice of Paige O'Hara was given to the character of Belle. Now Paige's voice is not only the speaking voice, but also the singing voice of Princess Belle. And her voice can be heard in the original Beauty and the Beast, the two direct sequels, which include Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, and Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World, and you can also hear her voice in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, in addition to being a singer and an actress, Paige O'Hara is actually also a painter. She began her career on Broadway in 1975, when she portrayed Della in The Gift of the Magi, and another notable role she performed was Fantine in the Broadway musical Les Miserables. But in addition to still being the voice of Belle, Paige is also now a signed artist with the Walt Disney Company. Paige is so gifted not only in her vocal abilities, but also in her ability to bring art onto a canvas. Talk about a talented princess. Gosh, I look up to Paige so much in all of her artistic ability. A bookworm, a singer, and a painter. What more could we ask for from the belle of the ball? <laughs> but with that, we have reached number 10 on my list of Disney princess voices. If you have any guesses as to who is going to appear in the top 10, make sure to leave them down below. But I am so excited to get into the top 10, so let's get started. Starting off at number 10 on my list, is Eileen Woods. Eileen Woods lent her beautiful, gorgeous voice to Princess Cinderella. Eileen's beautiful alto voice is the perfect dreamy voice and it was handpicked by Walt Disney himself. And she did both the singing and the speaking for the character. And you can hear Eileen Woods' beautiful voice in the original animated movie, Cinderella. Eileen was an American singer and actress who was named an official Disney legend. And while she is most well known for the beautiful performance she gave as the original Cinderella, she also did lend her voice over the years for the character of Snow White. But that was in a few smaller projects. It was never for a fully animated feature or anything for the Disney parks. Eileen Wood sadly passed away in the year 2010. However, she will forever be remembered as the voice of our beautiful Cinderella. And her legacy lives on and she will be remembered for generations to come. For all of those who wish to follow along with the story of this brave and determined princess. And taking a brief break from our Disney princesses, we move on up to number nine on my list, who is Kristen Bell. Now, Kristen Bell lent her beautiful voice to Queen Anna, who originally started off as Princess Anna, but now she's a frozen queen. <laughs> Kristen Bell lent not only her speaking voice, but also her gorgeous singing voice. And as far as I was able to find, this was really the first professional work she ever did as a singer. And it's incredible for a Disney animated movie having this be your first singing gig. Like, oh my God, she's incredible. But yes, you can hear her beautiful work as princess and later queen, Anna, in Frozen 1, Frozen 2, and also Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, Kristen Bell is an American actress, not only of film, but also of the stage and of voiceover work. She is multifaceted and extremely talented, but she is probably best known for her work in Gossip Girl. I love how much Kristen Bell has returned over the years to keep the magic of Princess and Queen Anna alive, and I cannot wait to hear all of her future work with this Frozen Queen in Frozen 3 and Frozen 4 coming soon from the Walt Disney Company. But speaking of future work from princesses, next we're going to move on up to number 8 on my list, who is Auli'i Cravalho. Now, Auli'i Cravalho, at just 16 years old, lent her beautiful voice to Princess Moana. She performs both the speaking and the singing for this Polynesian princess, and she can be heard in the original Moana movie as well as Ralph Breaks the Internet. She is an American singer and actress who made her professional debut when Disney discovered her for the role of Moana when she was only 16 years old. How cool is that? But besides that, she has done a lot of film and stage work since, but one of my favorite roles of her personally was Janice in the musical movie Mean Girls. But she also lends her voice to the Disney Channel series Haley's On It. Now, Ali'i is so incredibly talented. I cannot wait to see where her career takes her from here, but I am also filled with anticipation for the brand new Moana sequel that we will be getting later this year, as we just got the brand new trailer from the D23 Expo, and Ali'i was there in person to sing a brand new song from the movie. And it sounds so beautiful. I cannot wait to hear her further performance in this role. And also, fun fact for you, Ali'i Cravalho also got to play another Disney princess on the stage in a streamed live performance of The Little Mermaid. She played the leading role of Ariel. But with that, we're going to move on up to number seven on my list, 
who is Leia Salonga. Now, Leia Salonga is a true legend, as she is the only woman on today's list to have officially voiced two Disney princesses in theatrical released animated movies. Leia Salonga lent her flawless voice to not only Princess Jasmine, but also to Mulan. Leia, being an extremely talented singer, provided the singing voices of both of these princesses. And you can hear her voice in the original animated movie of Aladdin, as well as the original animated movie of Mulan, and the sequel, Mulan 2. Leia Salonga is a Filipino actress and singer who is primarily known for her incredible roles on the stage, as she has starred not only on Broadway, but also in the West End over in London. She has won a Tony Award, a Laurence Olivier Award, and she was also nominated for two Grammy Awards. And she was also honored as a Disney legend back in 2011. Leia Salonga having sung the songs of not only A Whole New World, but also Reflection, has absolutely cemented herself in the top 10 of this list. These songs are beautiful on their own, but Leia's performance also elevates the material, which is something that I so admire in her performance. I am so extremely grateful we have Leia Salonga as the voice of two Disney princesses. And yes, we are all lucky enough to have been graced with twice the magic from this iconic voice actress. But next we move on up to number six, perhaps one of my fondest favorites. At number six is Adriana Casalotti. Now, Adriana Casalotti was truly the one that started them all as she lent her speaking and singing voice to the character Snow White. Now, when she was young, her father was actually friends with Walt Disney. One day, her father was on a phone call with Mr. Disney, and she picked up the line and started speaking to Walt. When he heard her voice, he thought she would be absolutely perfect, and so she was brought on to voice the iconic first Disney princess, Snow White. For her beautiful work as not only the original Disney princess, but also the lead of the first ever animated Disney movie, Adriana Castellotti was awarded the Disney Legend Award back in 1994. And although working on Snow White did end up limiting her career for the rest of her life, she does have a few uncredited roles, such as in The Wizard of Oz. If you listen to the song If I Only Had a Heart, there is one very short female line that is sung, which is the line, Wherefore Art Thou Romeo? You might recognize this as the beautiful voice of Adriana Casalotti. Now, Adriana did sadly pass away in 1997. However, she, much like Eileen Woods, will forever be cemented in the history of Disney. Her sweet and kind-hearted high soprano is truly iconic, and her voice and her name will be known for generations to come as the original Disney princess. But with that, we've reached the top five of my list. At number five is Idina Menzel. Now, once again, taking a brief break from our Disney princesses, Idina Menzel lent her voice to Queen Elsa. And being an incredible beltress of the stage, Idina Menzel also lent her singing voice as well as her speaking voice to the iconic character. She not only voices Elsa in the original Frozen movie, but also in Frozen 2 and in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Idina Menzel is a very well-known Broadway singer and actor actress, and she is very well known for her mezzo-soprano high belt. She has received many awards over the years, including the American Music Award, a Billboard Music Award, a Daytime Emmy Award, a Tony Award for originating the role of Elphaba in the Broadway musical Wicked, a Drama League Award, as well as a Drama Desk Award, and in 2019 she also received her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and was named a Disney legend in 2022. The music of Queen Elsa, including Let It go into the unknown and show yourself truly would not be the same without Idina Menzel's iconic voice. And fun fact about Miss Idina Menzel is that she actually originally auditioned for the role of Rapunzel. And although she didn't land that princess, she did end up being a queen of not only Arendelle, but also of our hearts. <laughs> yes, I love Idina's performance as Queen Elsa in everything we have received so far, but I am also very excited to hear her work in Frozen 3 and Frozen 4 in the coming years. With that, we're moving on up to number four on my list, who is Judy Kuhn. Now, Judy Kuhn's gorgeous voice was lent to Princess Pocahontas. And seeing as we have already talked about the speaking voice of Princess Pocahontas on this list, Judy Kuhn was brought on as the singing voice for the indigenous princess. Judy lends her beautiful singing voice to Pocahontas not only in the original animated movie, but also in Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World. Judy Kuhn is an American singer, actor, and activist, and she is primarily known for her work in musical theater. She is a four-time Tony Award nominee. She has 
also released four studio albums, and her work on the film Pocahontas also helped the composers to win the Academy Award for Best Original Song. And as an additional fun fact for Judy Kuhn, she also voices one of the princesses in Mulan 2. But with that, we're moving on up to number three on my list who is Mary Costa. Now, Mary Costa is an absolute icon. I think she truly has one of the most technically beautiful princess voices out of this entire list. Mary Costa was our original Princess Aurora in the film Sleeping Beauty. And seeing as she is a trained opera singer, she lent not only her speaking voice, but also her beautiful soprano operatic voice to Briar Rose. Mary Costa is a retired American opera singer and actress. And although she has performed many operatic roles over the years, she is probably best known for her role as Princess Aurora in Walt Disney's film Sleeping Beauty. And seeing as she is a retired Disney princess, it is also very important to note that she is currently the oldest surviving Disney princess voice on today's list. In the year 1999, she was named a Disney legend, and in the year 2020, she was awarded the National Medal of Artists. Mary Costa is a princess through and through, and I am so incredibly grateful for all of her work on the beautiful film Sleeping Beauty. But with that, we're moving on up to number two on my list, who is Anika Nani Rose. Now, Anika Nani Rose lent her absolutely beautiful voice to Princess Tiana. As once again a beautiful singer, Anika Nani Rose not only lent her speaking voice, but also her singing voice to this beautiful princess. And you can hear her voice in both the original Princess and the Frog animated movie, as well as in Ralph Breaks the Internet. In addition to starring in the Academy Award winning film Dreamgirls, which also earned her a Grammy nomination for the soundtrack, she also played the character of Emmy in Caroline or Change on Broadway, for which she won the Tony Award as the best featured actress in a musical. Musical, but she also starred in A Raisin in the Sun on Broadway, for which she won Best Featured Actress in a play. There is no stopping Anika Nani Rose, and I am so grateful that so many of her own personal attributes were given to Princess Tiana, such as requesting that she be left-handed. I am so grateful that Anika Nani Rose is still so hands-on, having just written a brand new book for the princess that she voiced. Anika's beautiful voice truly has me in awe every single time I listen to any voiceover work for Princess Tiana, and I don't think Disney could have possibly picked anyone better for the role. But with that, friends, we have reached number one on my list of favorite Disney princess voices. Have you possibly guessed who it could be? Yes, at number one is Jodie Benson. And if you have seen my Ranking Disney Princesses video, then you will know that Jodie Benson is the original voice of my personal favorite Disney princess, who is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Jodie Benson lent her singing and speaking voice to this beautiful mermaid princess, and you can hear her voice in almost every iteration of the character since the original movie, which includes the original animated movie, all of the sequels, including Ariel's Beginning and Return to the Sea. You can hear her voice in Ralph Breaks the Internet as Ariel, and also in the entire Little Mermaid TV series. And in addition to performing Ariel, she has also lent her voice to Princess Belle, filling in for her princess pal Paige O'Hara in the House of Mouse series. Jodie Benson is still a Disney cast member and therefore does a lot of work for the Walt Disney Company. You might also recognize her as the voice of Barbie in Toy Story 2 and 3, as well as the voice of Weebo in Disney's live action film Flubber. She also has done wonderful voice work in Secret of the Wings, Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamp's Adventure, 101 Dalmatians 2 Patch's London Adventure. She has also voiced the character of Thumbelina in the Don Bluth film, and she also appeared in the live action portion of Enchanted as Patrick Dempsey's assistant Sam, of which you can hear part of your world playing in the background. Jodie Benson was awarded the Disney Legend Award in 2011, and I am lucky enough to have seen her perform in person twice. The first of which was at the Candlelight Procession in Epcot, which is the beautiful Christmas show that they have at the America Pavilion. And the second performance was very recently on a trip to Disney when I saw her play the role of Dolly Lee in Hello Dolly. Jodie Benson is an absolute angel on earth, embodying Ariel every single day of her life. 
In some behind the scenes photos in her social media accounts, you can see her entire house is decked out with Ariel. She has stated multiple times that she never gets sick of singing her iconic song, Part of Your World, seeing as it just brings back memories of being in the studio with Howard Ashman and Ellen Mankin. She has done such generous charity work over the years and she is a Disney princess through and through. Here's hoping that I get to meet her one day in person, but oh my gosh, I have so much love and respect for this incredible Disney princess voice. Her song makes me cry almost every time I listen to it, and I am so grateful for all of the work that she has done over the years for the Walt Disney Company. Oh, and with that, friends, we have talked about 23 iconic Disney princess voices. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun talking about all of these incredibly strong and powerful women. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe down below so that way you don't miss out on magic from me. And make sure to like this video and leave a comment as to who is your favorite Disney princess voice. This was such a fun video to make, honoring all of the princess voices past, present, and future for the company, and I cannot wait to see all of our future princesses and all of the stories that will be told about them to come. So thank you again so much for watching, stay magical, enjoy the rest of your week, and until next time, I'll see you real soon.